Hey, you made it. In this video, we'll be recording our screen. So I've got both ScreenFlow and Keynote open on my computer. In ScreenFlow, I'm going to start by creating a new empty document and select the size. I'm going straight HD in 1080p. And then I'm clicking the Create button. I don't want to start recording without checking my properties first. So to do that, I go up to the ScreenFlow camera icon and click Configure Recording. This is where I can choose which monitor I want to record, whether or not I want to record video from my webcam, set my microphone settings, or whether or not I want to record my computer's audio. I already recorded my narration in the last video, so in this example, I'm going to just record my monitor without any sound. Also, I didn't notice this for a while, but if you click this button, you can set ScreenFlow to record for a certain length of time. This is perfect for recording webinars to watch later without having to sit through the boring intro and sales pitch stuff. Anyways. Once I'm all set, I can hit the record button and ScreenFlow will count down to showtime. Then I'm going to go to Keynote and put my presentation into slideshow mode. From here, I'm just going to roll through all the slides, leaving a second or so before I move on to the next. When I'm done, I go back up to the ScreenFlow icon and hit stop record. ScreenFlow should prompt me to see if I want to add my recording to one of my open projects or start a new project. I'll add it to the project I just started. Next, I need to get some footage of my website. So I'm going to go to the Media tab and click Add Recording, and then roll through that process again. Now I have my two videos I want to work with, uh, so I'll drag them both into the timeline. Then I'll just trim off the beginning and end parts that I don't need. One from right about there, from about when I'm hovering over the button in the video. That'll do. Cool. Next, I'm going to grab the narration file we recorded in the last video and drag it into my timeline as well. Then I'm going to move everything together and adjust my timeline view. You can see already that we have a lot of video footage compared to our narration. In the next video, I'll show you how we take these clips and turn it into this. Not getting enough YouTube tips in your inbox? Then come on down to videoseo.com and subscribe to our YouTube marketing newsletter. It's so free. Just enter in your name and email address, then click the Sign Me Up button. Big cursor style. <laughs> so, to move ahead, just click one of the icons below, and if you're enjoying this series, please help spread the word on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Alright, race you to the next video.